Hey guys, Ponzu Sauce here, and I'm back with another Texture Pack tour. This time we're taking a look at the Woodpecker Pack by ZobQO. This pack is warm and vivid, somewhat RPG based, and uh, fairly simplistic. It's 16 by 16, so let's take a look at it. I'm using uh, no mods or shaders or anything for this. Um, kind of want to give you a good idea for what it looks like uh, unmodded so right off it looks pretty nice I'm I'm liking how simplistic it is that's for sure alright so let's take a look at uh, the UI alright we we have uh, different hearts and stuff like that we have a completely different uh, UI going on which is nice I like when people put it all in there Let's take a look at the night time. The moon's nice and round, that's pretty cool. Got the stars, alright. See what the thunderstorm looks like. Do we have any lightning? So the rain's nice and subtle, it's not too crazy. Alright. Let's take a look at the very first part here. This is the growth stages for uh, all of the vegetation. And uh, it's nice and simple. It doesn't have to be too crazy, but it's definitely not default, which is super nice. So we've got... Uh, everything has been thought of here. There's no missing... Sometimes we'll get some missing uh, beginning stages for the, the vines, for the, um, the pumpkin and the melon, but these have been thought of. Of course we've got the nether ward. I like the the different uh, perspective on that. That's pretty awesome. Not sure if these cocoa beans have been changed. If they have it's just super subtle. Definitely the wood has been changed. Got some nice leaves, alright. And of course the quartz is a little bit more uh, rustic. Take a look inside. Alright, so I think our, our goal here is going to be what is not done. I think that's what we're going to have to look for. Right off, you can see the ender chest is not complete, but we do have a, a different beacon UI, which is awesome. And the uh, chest UI is pretty uh, decently done up. So we have some armor sets here. Looks like uh, only a couple have been done so far. But we're looking forward to uh, updates with that. Ooh, alright, so this is a different perspective on a, an enchanting table. I don't usually see the... Uh, it's smaller than the actual default. There's parts cut out of it on the side and stuff like that. I like how the, uh, the material drapes down like that. The quartz looks awesome. I like how it's, uh, how it's looking. It looks uh, like it's popping out at you. We have, uh, I think these are the same brewing stands. So maybe that's something that can be done still. Let's see what kind of uh, tools we have here. Alright, it's looking pretty nice. I like, uh, I like uh, the different perspective on the hoe there. Totally traditional. Got the axes. There's not many things that have not been done. That's uh, it's nice to see packs that are more complete. That's for sure. It's got the different chests. Looks like maybe the bed hasn't been done yet. Got the trap doors. Nice little 3D part there. Oh, we have a different cake. That's pretty cool. Is that a black forest cake? That's awesome if it is. <laughs> cool. Uh, we've got all of the different item frames going on. Alright, let's go into the biome rooms. Got the uh, acacia stuff up first. Let's take a look. Do we have any different villagers? I don't think so. We do have some subtle changes to the torches. This is all the acacia wood in here. Everything has been done. The horses seem to be default. We've got a bit of a different texture on the... Uh, fire there. We'll get a better look at it later. So it looks like maybe the animals aren't done. Oh, I think we're missing. 
We're missing a texture. Did I lose my painting or did it. Is this just not done? Huh. Interesting. I can't really tell because it doesn't put an outline on it. But we do have some different uh, paintings. I think this one maybe is is not textured yet. It's just blank. So it looks like we have default doors. This is all the dark oak stuff. It's fairly nice. We've got the forge together with the chest and the uh, crafting table. Got some more paintings. Do we have? Oh. Alright, so it looks like maybe the paintings are still the work in progress, so that's uh, something to look forward to. The mushroom looks really cool. It's nice and subtle, it's not too crazy. Let's go into the birch forest. Got some birch going on. So we have our jack-o'-lanterns, the pumpkin and the, uh, the jack-o'-lantern over here. This is all the birch wood. Looking fairly nice. I like the details on it, that's for sure. Let's go into the jungle. Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't quite tell if there's a difference with the with the cocoa bean. If there is, it's super subtle. I like the the melons. They look awesome. Nice detail to them. This is all the jungle uh, wood that you're gonna get. Looking pretty nice. What else do we have? We have the taiga. Oh! Oh my goodness, we have some dogs that are completely redone. That is awesome. Looks like everything in this room is, is definitely complete. So we've got the different mushrooms. Oh, wait! Maybe the saplings? Not quite the saplings yet. Or maybe... They look close, but not quite. Alright, maybe they have been done, but they're just not... Uh... Alright, so we've got our spruce trees. Looking pretty cool. Definitely a different perspective on the uh, the leaves for it. That's, uh, that's a nice refreshing change. This is one of the doors that is complete. Oh, here's another one. This is the regular forest. We've got the pumpkins, and of course we can get a little bit of a better look at the, the fire here. Yeah, all right. Nice little outline to it. That's fairly nice. Got uh, plain old chickens. We have some pretty awesome looking water here. Oh, and it has a nice, uh, nice effect to it. I like that you can see through it. That's so important for me. I want to be able to see what's at least under, you know, not too deep, but some of it, you know. So we've got the dirt, and of course we've got the sand over there. This is all the oak wood. Got uh, the same paintings. Uh, it looks like maybe there's they're starting on the fish, which is nice. That's nice to see. Oh, let's take a look. We do have a different fishing rod. We've got oh, we've got a little bit of a 3D ladder going on. That's pretty cool. Super subtle. It doesn't have to be overdone, which is nice. Let's go into the swamplands. What we got here. Alright, so again we've got the ladder with that 3D pop. It's pretty awesome. I like these mushrooms. They're definitely uh, fairly cool looking. Got a different cauldron. This is all the spruce wood. Oh, alright, so this, this slime looks pretty cool. I like that you kept, kept some uh, transparency in there. It's kind of bubbly looking, and it has like depth to it. That's awesome. The fact that there's layers of bubbles, that's that's really cool. Let's go into the desert. All right, so we've got the cacti and the uh, the reeds. Got the sandstone in here and the clay, looking pretty nice. We've got the carpet. The carpet looks good. Nice texture to it. The dead plants are a little bit, uh, you know, they're dead plants, so. Alright, so we have another floor of biome rooms here. Let's pop into the, uh, the nether. Oh my goodness, I like, I like the nether rack. 
definitely, you know, I like the burgundy netherrack that's default, but I also like a darker version of it like this. So this is nice to see. Looks like maybe we have default lava, but we have some nice glowstone. Uh, looks like maybe the soul sand still needs some work. And maybe the anvil as well. Of course, we've got the nether wart over here, and we have some iron bars. Pretty simple uh, iron bars, which is which is just fine. Got a different button on there. It's nice and textured. Has a little bit of a difference to it. Take a look into the cave system here. There's some pretty nice uh, bubbly type stuff going on here. I like how the uh, the blocks blend well together. You know, you have that that circular texture on every single type. That's nice. It 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 meshes well. It's pretty nice to see. All right, we've got some pretty cool rail going on. Fairly thick uh, wood pieces in there. That's a little bit different from the traditional. Got uh, some different TNT. It's always nice to see what people think of for the TNT. So that's uh, that's cool to see. And of course, we've got some different webbing. Super busy webbing. It feels like it's uh, it's quite clustered. I can't get over this this. This ladder looks pretty cool with it being 3D like that. It's nice to see. Got all the resources and their item frames. Looking pretty good. Let's take a look at the flowing lava. Flowing, or I mean the water. Flowing water. Looks pretty nice. Not super overdone. What else do we have here? We have the mesa. Let's pop in here. All right, so the uh, the clay here has a very similar texture to the stone and stuff like that. But I like that the the tones have been kept somewhat similar to default. That's nice. Nice pastels going on. Of course, we have the uh, we have all the red sandstone and the red sand. It's a nice difference. In here we have the end. Got the end stone and the obsidian. The iron bars look pretty good when they're done up like that. Super subtle. Up next we have Mushroom Island. Uh, we have been seeing some different uh, paintings on the sides of the... What the heck is that? I hope those are lips. I don't know what that is, but I hope they're lips. <laughs> I don't know what it is. We've got a sword. We've got a different door on here. That's pretty nice looking. All right, so it looks like maybe maybe the mobs have not yet been done. We've seen a few that haven't been changed. We've got the different mushrooms. I like I like the super subtle differences with the mushrooms. It doesn't have to be too crazy. That's nice. All right, let's see what else got the ocean temple all right so I like the fact that I can see through the water here and it's uh it's got some animation to it got the sponge and it, it feels like it's a little bit difficult maybe there's like a blue tinge on the uh, the actual um, used sponge the wet sponge on the other side there it has a little bit of a, a bluish tone to it compared to the, the dry sponge although it's Super subtle and different, so I might not be able to tell the difference so easy. Got the uh, gold bars. Gold bars up here. So yeah, looking fairly nice. I like the prismarine. Nice textures to it. We have the ice planes up here now. Alright, so this is... Oh my goodness, those look like uh, just like piled snowballs. Looks pretty cool. Looks like maybe the packed ice has been something that's been overlooked, but we definitely have some regular ice. And you can see through it just slightly. I like that part about ice, being able to see through it. The packed ice is supposed to be opaque, and the, I, I like being able to see through the regular ice. Finally, we have the flower forest. Looks like uh, just a couple of textures have been redone. Some still need to, or maybe it's just the small ones have been redone. Yeah, 
think some of the larger ones still need to be done. But some nice, uh, nice subtle coloring going on. It's not too crazy. Looking pretty good. All right, so let's go down to the basement. We'll take a look at the mobs. See what they have going on down there. I think we're gonna see maybe not too much. We do have because of the uh, the pumpkin actually having a face on it. We do have the right snowman looking thing there. A lot of the item frames have actually been done up, so that's fairly nice. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Nice little swirl going on there. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we do have some dogs, and we do have a different pig. Oh my goodness, Are those sausages? Or am I seeing that wrong? I'm not quite sure what that is. It kind of looks like sausages, but I don't know. Like two tenderloins laying next to each other? I don't know. All right, so we've got the steak. Uh, looks like the rabbit stuff has not yet been done, but we do have different chicken. Let's take a look at the uh, other mobs, the hostile mobs. All right, so we've got some zombie action going on here, but the zombie villagers, not yet. Looks like we have a different skeleton. Looking pretty cool. What else do we have here? We have different creepers. I like the animation on the lightning creeper. That's pretty cool. Nice uh, lime green going on. What else do we have here? Alright, let's go on to the next one. Got the nether mobs. Looks like maybe not quite. Uh, just the slime. Just the slime has been changed. Are those lopsided eyes? <laughs> it looks pretty goofy. It's cool to have a different, uh, a different uh, take on it. I like the fact that the transparency was kept. And uh, it's nice and pixelated like that. It looks awesome. We have a different squid? No, aw. All right, so we'll just we'll just have to come back and look at another time at the squid. What else do we have here? We have All right, so all of these are still default. Pretty sure all the horses will still be default. We do have the same uh sheep, but we do have some different wool and some of the dyes have been done. All right, so that's really nice. All right, cool stuff. I like the texture. I like the fact that the uh, the colors are pretty close to what the sheep look like. This one's a little bit off. That one's a little bit more pink. This one's a little bit more purpley. I like when I whenever I want to shear a sheep, I want to be able to see that color on the wool so that I understand what I'm going to get out of it. All right. Let's go on up to the very top floor. That's where we have the, the rest of the goodies. Let's take a look at the redstone stuff. All right, so just a couple of things have not yet been done. Like the uh, pressure plates, they're looking pretty cool. We've got completely different buttons, that's nice to see. I think just the circuitry stuff just still needs to be done. But it's a pretty nice progress. Got the different daylight sensor. Oh, all right. So this here is the iron uh, trap door and this is the wooden trap door. I can't open the iron one, but it looks like the wooden one. So that's uh, maybe something that still needs to be done. It's pretty cool, all right. Let's take a look at the big beds. See if there's any different. Oh, all right. There is a different uh, health bar at the top of the at the top of the screen. There, you can see it. Different health bar. Do have the different obsidian, but still the same uh, spell effect for the the Nether. Let's take a look at the end area. All right, so we've got some different eyes going on. Pretty cool stuff. Looks like uh, we have the same default dragon egg, which makes me think that we don't have a specialized ender dragon. But we'll take a look. Alright. 
We've got just default Ender Dragon, but uh, it leaves us a lot to look forward to. So that pack was Woodpecker by ZobQO. Um, if you want to download this pack, a link to that download is in the description of the video. Uh, drop me a like, uh, let me know what you thought about this pack. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. We'll see you next time.